Just about ready for the play. The center ball is snapped. The kick is Sheeler. I came to Iowa in 65, and people had started to talk about it. Why don't Iowa and Iowa State play? I think about my dad, who took me to my first game in Iowa City, my first game in Ames, never got to see him play each other. You know, he, he didn't live long enough. The legislature passed this resolution asking the two university presidents to you know, consider a series. I remember distinctly, I was driving home, my, my wife and kids in the car, and driving down old Hickman Road, Highway 6, out to Adel. And like a lot of people, I mean, the topic kept coming up next year, next season, next fall, Iowa and Iowa State. They're gonna play football against each other for the first time in 43 years. But I, re I remember uttering, there should be a trophy for this game. And my oldest son, Darren, who was 10 at the time, said, why don't you do it? After having that thought on the way home, why not us? The, the first thing to do is run it by the guys. We're talking about a bunch of guys that, uh, well, we had a bowling team, we played rec league softball, we played a lot of poker. Uh, most of the guys had gone to the University of Iowa, most of them had degrees by then. Uh, I was a dropout from Iowa State, among other places, but anyhow. I heard about it at bowling night, of course, where who knows how many Paps Blue Ribbons we've had at that point, but, and frankly, it was kind of like, yeah, that's a good idea, let's go ahead and do that, but it was just real matter of fact. We came up with some, you know, sort of classic walnut stand and the classic football and a sort of variation on the classic Heisman. But we had decals at the time. There was Cy on the left and Herky on the right. And it was Bob Updegraff Jr. who looked at it and said, Cyhawk. He said, this is the Cyhawk trophy. It seemed like such a great idea. It was just so obvious. We never actually thought about what the hell to do with this thing once we had it. How do you create and give a traveling trophy for, for a sports rivalry? I do remember clearly Bob Utes calling me and saying that with the series being announced that he had this idea, and I think this was an idea hatched over about two or three beers. I'm just sure it was. Yeah, there wasn't any formal game plan on how this was going to evolve. I mean, it was seat of the pants oh, sort of stuff. There's no way I thought Bob and Bob would pull this off. There's no way. We're like two months away from kickoff, and we've got this beautiful trophy that it looks like we're going to have to eat. One morning, picked up the register and saw a little article that mentioned that Governor Robert Ray had a daughter at the University of Iowa and a daughter at Iowa State University, and we thought, perfect. It's, it's not like this was going to be the easiest route, but we had nowhere to go. We took the trophy over to the Capitol, and it's just, I mean, it's beautiful. I mean, it's overwhelming. It's, it's what, 20-foot high ceiling. We walked into the governor's office and, and right away there's the, the big desk, that familiar face, Robert D. Ray, the window overlooking the city that I'd grown up in. It was pretty intimidating and I was frankly a nervous wreck. We really didn't have time to probably realize what the hell it was we were doing. And lo and behold, uh, in a couple days, we got word from the governor's office and we were able to issue our first press release that announced that the governor of Iowa, Robert D. Ray, would be presenting the Cyhawk Trophy to the winner of the Iowa-Iowa State game. Now we've had all this hype, all this talk. The fans are all cranked up. Now here comes Earl Bruce's team with Beat Iowa on the jerseys. The memories are vivid. It's like last week. And they introduced the starting lineups from Iowa and Iowa State, and they did it in front of the Iowa bench of which I was standing. And the last person they inter introduced was Earl Bruce, and he shook his fist at the Iowa fans and turned around and ran back to the visitor's sideline. Then it was a real uh, slugfest. Maybe not a, a fans-type scoring game, but just a really great college football game. It really does fire people up. It really is unpredictable. It is all important. It's, it's an interstate rivalry. And when you've been a part of 20 bowl games and a national championship, and 45 years in Division I football, I have a few things to compare it to, but there's just nothing like the Iowa State-Iowa game. And it, it came about in this really organic, well-intended, guys in a basement just putting together this trophy out of love. The beauty of it, it started with the fans. You know, the fans came up with it. It wasn't a couple of athletic directors getting together and saying, why don't we do this? 
uh, it was it came from the fans.